Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Russell and I am your IELTS mentor. Welcome to my new episode. And in this episode, I'm planning to give you five words to help you to get over seven in speaking and writing. And at first, these words will help you to do better in reading and listening module. This is a complete video series. And I have named this video series as Essential Vocabularies to Get 7 Plus in IELTS. So let's get started. The first word in today's episode is contemporary, which means modern, update, and the things which are continuing in present time. So let's look at some examples to make it more easy, okay? The first example is, I like contemporary poems because I'm fascinated by this. The second example is, the telephone and gramophone were contemporary when they firstly appeared. Okay, the second word is serene, which means peaceful, calm, or untroubled. So again, look at some examples to make it more easy. I felt serene when I visited Taj Mahal. And the second example is, she has a lovely serene face. Let's move on to the next word, which is eminent, another good word to use in speaking and writing, which means famous, prominent, and great. Okay? So let's look at the first example for this word. Sachin is an eminent cricketer in the world. I repeat, Sachin is an eminent player in the world. And the next example is Alibaba is an eminent online shopping website. My next word is jubilant, which means happy, full of joy, thrilled. Okay, so let's move on to the examples. Jubilant fans of Bangladesh cricket always cheer for the team. Example number two is the boy was jubilant to be with his kind dad. I repeat, the boy was jubilant to be with his kind dad. And the final word is nostalgic. And it's a very common word and commonly used by the students. But still, it's a very good word to use, which means feeling lost in memories or feeling about the past. So I'm just going to give you examples to make it more comfortable. Example number one is we feel nostalgic remembering the days of our childhood. And the next example is When I see the photos from the past, I feel nostalgic. So those were the five words I have taken and at first given you in this first episode. And at first, still, there are many more to come out. I hope you all will be benefited with this episode. And at first, never forget to inspire us. Please. Just subscribe our channel to help us to make more videos for you. So no more today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And first, stay blessed and stay out of danger.